Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, uh, I've been asked to show how I set my day up. I mean, I'm looking at basically uh, eight things that I'm looking at today. I'm looking at gold, wheat, E-mini S&P, December bean oil, December corn, November soybeans, and cattle. Cattle are almost closed for the day. Now, I met Ensign Software back in 1987. I was living in Pismo Beach, and they came down to train with me uh, and uh, for, for a whole week. It was John and his brother, Howard Arrington, and they had just started a company called Ensign Software, and they wanted to see uh, uh oh we're starting to increase the selling on the downside here i got to move this up just a little bit here okay um but they they wanted to see what was happening uh how i traded and stuff like this and so i i made a deal with them that you know I, I would get x number of profits for the week uh limited to a certain amount if i made money and if i didn't they didn't have to pay anything so they stayed with me that was supposed to be for two days. Well, the first two days that I traded with them, folks, I mean, even I was shocked. I, I was just absolutely perfect those two days. I've had, I, I have days like that occasionally, but I had them back to back. And so we finished the whole week up. Uh, the other three days were normal. I had about, you know, hit about 60%. But the first two days, I couldn't do anything wrong. And so what they wanted to do was to build a program around what I did. And so I said, well, this is what I need. I remember, folks, this is 87. I mean, this is only three or four years after we started getting these, you know, uh, computers that you could actually get the prices and everything on, okay? So I told him, I said, look, you can do it any way you want, but this is what I use for tools. Now, they've got more bells and whistles on this darn thing than you could ever, ever imagine. But let's just take, for example, uh, where we are. Let's just look at December soybean oil right here we're going to pull this up because we have a, a major pattern forming right now in the december soybean oil so i just bring this up to a daily okay and that shows us that we just bought it right here folks we just bought it at 27 the low was 26 we bought it at 27 we're risking about 30 points now that's at the seven eight percent well when i was working with them just getting started out they said what are the things that are the best well one of the things that i use there you can see the tools that i use there's just a very few this is remove everything <laughs> okay this is just puts in a day in like I, I can highlight something like that if i wanted to you know show a spot like that you can make that any circular whatever you want it doesn't make any difference okay this tells me what the key uh, orders are like that would be a 382 retracement you can you can do what you do is you set that down like this and then if you want to change it you just come up here and you can go to the properties on this thing and you can see well uh, yeah what what you can do is well you got that that I don't want to worry about okay I just wanted to show you the tools these are the things that I use the most okay this is the Fibonacci retracement tool, what we have right here. I said these are the things, the basics that I absolutely need. I never use moving averages. They're in here. If I wanted to put a moving average on, it'll do anything. It'll change the moving average uh, any way that I want. See, this one happens to be a, a 313.34. You know, I can make it uh, forward, backward. I don't use any of those things. I mean, but they put them in because they have many people – uh, you know, do things other than what I do because what I do is stuff is so darn simple, people don't even look at that. So that's how I'm looking at December or soybean oil. Now, the other one that we had today here was also December corn. Now, here's December corn. This is on a, uh, I believe this is an hourly chart. You can see there was a number we were looking at right here. If we look at this on the daily, okay. Now, we've been waiting on this for a very long time, and there it is. So we bought it there. Our stop is right down here. Let me show you what all these tools are. 
after I was working with him, I did a lot of ABC drawing, and he said, what if we could make a tool for you that would draw the ABCD? And I said, sure, that would be great. And so they did. If you came over here, I have these on keys. All I have to do is just mark this right here, okay? And that just tells me that I'm going to draw. Uh, see, the thing is so darn sensitive. Hold on. <laughs> That's one thing about them. Boy, those guys are absolute fanatics. That tells me that there's my first A, B, C, D, and there's my second. And so it draws them just like this. And so that's what they did. They stayed there for a week, and they went back to uh, uh, Utah and started to do some work. And about, oh, two or three months later, they asked if I would come up to uh, – uh, and do a day trading thing with uh, some of their customers. And I said, sure. That was in, oh, see, that was 10 years later. That was in 90, no, it was only five years later, 92, 92, I went up there uh, to do that. Let me get this tile vertical on these windows right here to see where, what I'm watching, folks, is this this chart here on the uh, the Dow Jones. You see, oh, dear, we're really getting, we're, uh, we're, here's the other one. When we break below this, folks, you see, all we did here is have this humongous rally. If you look at this on an hourly chart, this is where the real problem could lie. If we get below this, see, folks, this could be a two-day rally. With the Dow Jones, it was a three-day rally. Anyway, okay, I uh, hope this is showing you how I do it. I do it very quickly. I don't use a lot of stuff up here. If I want to get rid of it, I just go just like that, okay? These are the tools. This is the time uh, that I can change any time. So if I want to change it to an eight-minute chart, there's my eight-minute chart, okay? So I'm interested if we get below this low because this is going to be it's going to be very interesting, especially with a few hours to go. And the reason for that is is the reason that I sent out before. You see, we couldn't even take out the previous day's high in the, in the S&P. You see, that high was uh, 5097. This was only 5095. I mean, that was not a very good sign. Now look what it's doing. It's coming down. We get below here. It's going to take out major support. All right, and look at this. See, we haven't had, this is it. We're, we're starting to come. The next stop is 5017. All right, so that's that's why this is so, so doggone very important. So anyway, that's what we we're looking at. But here's the key. Let me get rid of this out. This was the thing that bonded our friendship uh, forever. Hold on just a second here. Let's get the, uh, uh, yeah, let's, oh, you got a chart. Sir. There's so many things in here. All my charts are right here, all the stuff that I look at, okay? And I don't you do stocks or anything like that. This tells you the different time frames. It's got so much stuff in it. But I don't do anything, folks. What I do is so darn simple. I mean, it's, you know, you just got to do it. All right, let's pick out something we haven't seen in a long time. Let's get natural gas. We haven't looked at natural gas and uh, where are we here? Natural gas starts with an NG. We're going to go to a daily. I'm going to click that. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring it up. All right. There's natural gas. Okay. I'm going to move it over like this. And I'm going to go to a four-hour chart. So I click this on to a four-hour chart. Now I'm able to see what natural gas has been doing over the last month or so. So there it is. Here is what I paid somebody a hundred thousand dollars to match all let's take a break we'll get back i got this is almost over we'll get to some charts in just a minute jeff huge is our break so stay tuned Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. 
educating investors. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We're back. I, this is what uh, they built for me that I could put these dark, garly patterns in. So all I have to do is to get rid of all that. And then they had built this pattern that if I take this high and draw it down to this level right here and match it up to this high, it would give me the three drive to a top pattern. It has the hot cycle finder in it so that if I want to look at cycles. From, and we got somebody on the line here. And who is it? Oh, shut the front door. My, my mic is tiny. Oh, how's that? Well, <laughs> is it better now? I uh, sorry about that. And I and I had my my limit minder uh, the thing a little bit low, so I'm going to check that for you here. Okay, let's just move on here. Anyway, this is this is what it'll do some of these things, but this is really how I have everything set up. But here was the key that they really helped me with. I said, would be great if I could. Just press a button, and it would show me every swing that I wanted to see with the ratios and pattern perfectly. And I paid a guy a lot of money, I mean six figures, almost a hundred grand, to build something that I wanted to see like that. Bryce Gilmore had a, uh, a program like that, but he only had it for uh, a few things. I needed it for everything. And he said, oh, well, so I went up and I did a day trading live session for him, and sure enough, turned out to be pretty good. And what happened was the uh, – at the end of the time, they said, uh, come on in the office. We wanted to show you something. And I said, okay. He said, uh, is this what you'd like to have? And they did that just like that. I just hit a button, and it shows every swing. And that's what they call the, the Pesavento Index because it shows you. I mean, this is out to the third, uh, second, hundredth decimal place. You can't trade at that level. We do intense at, at, at the best, you know. So anyway, that's what we're paying close attention to here that we're seeing right now. Let me check something here because – I, uh, this might be a really key day in the markets, and I see that the uh, Dow Jones has come down now, and it's made a uh, new low, as I see here. Okay, there's the new low that it's made, and so that's what I wanted to see. So what I'm going to do now, boys and girls, is the old cowboys got to ring the bell, so just bear with me here one second, and I'll do something right here. i got to cover some of these. I'm going to buy them at the market. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna buy this one at the market. Okay, and then that's it. Get this right, and this shows you. This is what I did today in the E-mini uh, 
Dow Jones. Okay, let's move on here to, to talk more about it. I've got to be on the air here because this thing keeps going down. I want to definitely be short. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a sell stop. You see, we came down. We haven't taken this one out yet. So I'm saying this may or may not do this because we're setting just about right at the old 78% level right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell it. We gets down here a little bit more, okay? That means it's going to break that out. And then I've covered it here at 39. So give me a second here, and I'll come up here, and I'll do this without any trouble at all. I don't think it'll be any trouble. And we're going to sell uh, three. Let's see. Uh, let's do three, yeah. And we're going to sell them on a stop below that level, which would be 3905. Yeah, that's good enough right there. And they're going to give me an alert to tell me. Oh, shucks. Larry, bozo. Ah, not good. I had a, uh, that's an error. See, that's not good. Okay, now let me put the original order in. This is This upsets me. Okay, I got to come in here, and now I put a sale. See, that cost me $40, what that just did. So I'm going to do a three lot, and I'm going to sell if it makes a new low at $39.05. That'll get me back in because I think, and I'll show you in just a minute why I think this is going to happen, but I'm probably 100% wrong. So I'm going to put that in and lock that up. I, I have some, I have some, a couple of short S&P on, but that didn't count. <clears throat> because I was, uh, I've been in those for a while, and I'm not going to touch those. Okay, let's move on. I hope that helps, uh, uh, Action Jackson. Now, when I when I get this set up like this, all I have to do is to go and tile the window vertical. So if I got too much stuff in here right now, so one of the things I want to get rid of, I'm not interested in the corn anymore. The wheat, oh, the natural gas. I never keep more th ordinarily than just these eight because I can see them clearly. See, that's the, the main thing that I that I wanted to do. Now, it, there's still a chance, folks, that we got a major bottom here in the S and P. I mean, it's it's like the like Jesse and Frank James. This is like the uh, the Chance Brothers, Slim and None, because we have taken out yesterday's low here was at 47, and the late low today was 45.50, and it didn't go down very much. So this might be what is really important and I, I i'm really hoping so we've been down so much that it's got to be bearish the reason why i pay attention to that is we had our good friend stan harley that does a lot of work on cycles and he had april 17th well i'm a swing trader so all i do is trade the swings but i'm interested in that because he might be a day off I heard it, I had it happen once about 40 years ago. He was a day off. So I want to pay very, very close attention to. But by the same token, if we close sharply below that number, I have to be short. And I, I will give you my two cents worth. And if you overpay, it is your own fault. Let's get it up here. Here is – here's where we are with this uh, – the uh, what do you call it? Uh, Bitcoin. I don't know diddly squat about it. All I know is a chart. Millions of people are involved. Billions of dollars from this high to that low. The exact high. Wow! Did they get filled on that already? Holy cow! Just a second. It must really be must really be falling. Hold on just a minute, folks. Uh, I guess that's yep. That's what it is. I'm back in it. So I yep. I did get filled. So we're back in it. So that's what I want to make sure we. Uh, uh, yeah, all right. Now I got the stop in, so I'm okay here. Well, a little, little trouble today, but hey, we've got our good man, Mr. You-Know-Who, is going to be coming up here. Uh, Jeff Huge coming in, and that's it. See, the reason why I talk about this Bitcoin thing, folks, see, we're already breaking down hard now. Let's just get this thing up on a on a little smaller time frame. Look, look, you see, that tells us we're taking this out. That That's going – Oh, my goodness. Was that a 618? I think it was, was it? I hope so. So I just take this marker and I mark it down. Put the six. By the way, folks, I have nothing to do. There was a high of the day today, 61% retracement. Didn't make an ABCD. The other one didn't, but this did. So let's uh, remind ourselves of that, okay? So let's keep it moving, and we'll see what happens here. We're going to have to take a little break here, but this would tell us there's a possibility today 
that we could be looking at a move a b c d or this may be a major bottom like i said a b c d right here would take us down to this level right here 50 27 that looks like it where where it might want to go anyway we're going to take a little break right now we're going to have jeff huge back when we uh get finished here and we'll see what is uh what's going on okay so live every day in an attitude of gratitude for just a few more minutes <laughs> and we'll see you on the flip side when jeff comes on to give us his two cents worth so thank you all and we'll be right back Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made it so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. This portion of Trade What You See is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Okay, folks, we've got Jeff Huge on the line today. Jeff, how are you doing, my friend? Get <clears throat> me on the show today. Well, it's 
pleasure to have you. Now, you're saying there's a possible problem with the banks? Boy, something certainly looks a little fishy, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, uh, presumably we've been in some kind of a bull market here, but the banks don't seem to believe it. Um, regional banks in particular, I think there's something like 78 banks that make up the regional bank uh, index, and it's down over 14% through last night's close on a year-to-date basis. Uh, this tells me that not only is there a problem with the banks, but uh, investors smell some trouble. And if we were to compare that to some of the other returns that we're seeing out there, Quite honestly, it's just really the mega caps, the top 50 stocks in the S&P 500 that are getting any real respect at this point. They're up about 8% year-to-date with the S&P already giving back half of its year-to-date return. It's only up some 5%. Growth is still hanging in there above value, but actually T-bills are outperforming the average uh, return of the S&P stock. And, uh, you know, the median return for a U.S. stock is actually negative by over 3%. So it's pretty ugly out there for a bull market. Well, it certainly appears to, doesn't it? My goodness. Uh, by the way, your record all during this time has been exemplary. You should be – folks, if you want to see a really good record, go ask to see Jeff's record because he's done a great job. Let's talk about this volatility breakout because uh, that looks like something serious has really happened here somewhere. No doubt there is. And, and with respect to my record, we get, did get stopped out of nine positions in the last two days. But uh, the, the the mean return was 3.66%, so it was positive return being stopped out. But uh, with respect to this volatility breakout, we see two things happening here. On the upper uh, frame of the chart, we're showing the SKU index. For those who are unfamiliar with that, it's a measure of implied volatility of out-of-the-money options. And on the bottom, we're showing the VIX index. People are usually more familiar with that. Just to be clear, that's a measure of implied volatility of at-the-money options. And so what we see here is, you know, a big decline in the skew and a big advance in the VIX. And what that shows us is that, you know, people who are long out-of-the-money call options are, are capitulating on that. And demand for out-of-the-money calls is collapsing. Meanwhile, uh, people that had... You know, not hedged. Uh, there was very little, in fact, nil demand uh, for uh, at the money puts. That has spiked uh, dramatically. In fact, we've seen a surge of about 56% from the recent low to the recent high in the VIX. All of this suggests to me that we're going to see these alligator jaws snap shut in the not too distant future. And in our opinion, we think uh, the VIX could push as high as its March 2022 peak, which is around 36%. But it's still possible to exceed that. And we think there's a likely uh, push up to around uh, the 40% range in the VIX. Wow, 40%. Boy, that's going to scare a few people. We haven't seen a, a move in the VIX for eight, nine years. I don't think of that magnitude, have we? Uh, no. In fact, we haven't been above 40 in over two years. Okay. Uh, this next, uh, I don't know too much about stocks, but this is about sentiment. You want to tell the folks what you're looking at here, Jeff? Investor so there's sentiment. There's a, a number of sentiment uh, measures that come out on a, a regular basis every week or every two weeks. Uh, two of the most popular is the NAME Exposure Index. That's the National Association of Active Investment Managers. That's the upper frame. And then the lower frame is the American Association of Individual Investors. That looks at what you know mom and pop are doing in their in their uh, personal accounts. And so the upper band, what we saw back around the end of the quarter, uh, March 28th, in fact, uh, the most recent report at that point showed about 103% uh, exposure to equity. So actually, investment managers, professional managers were leveraged. Um, the interesting thing is that the week prior, two weeks prior, rather, it got to 104%. So that 103 was actually a failure to confirm the new high in price with the new high in um, sentiment. And so that leaves what's known as a negative divergence in place. We find that interesting. But when we go back to the lower panel and look at the American Association of Individual Investors, we can see that the bull bear spread, that's the number of bulls minus the number of bears, that peaked back in December at 32%. There were two back-to-back -back reports week after week in December, and it's come down and rallied to lower highs several times. We have in place now what we would describe as a double negative divergent with the uh, most recent peak at the end of the first quarter 
as the S&P was making its all-time high, and in fact, that made a lower high. So we're seeing this, this failure to confirm. And while you know, we could admit at this point that investor sentiment certainly come off its boil, the failure of sentiment to confirm uh, the new highs in price oftentimes signals a point of recognition among the wisest set of investors that something is amiss. And clearly, we can see with the decline in uh, the S&P since that peak, uh, they've been correct. Jeff, I've got a question. You know, I I don't know. Well, I don't think you were involved in it. It back, was back in 87. Uh, I, I see scenarios uh, just on talking to, you know, friends and other traders and stuff that there's just no fear out there uh, in Bitcoin or the stock market or anything like that. And boy, that to me is a... Uh, a real dangerous sign, especially these Bitcoin people. But, you know, this is an old cowboy, you know, riding his last trail ride. So <laughs> do you see anything like that at all? Because 87, you were probably in high school, weren't you? No, actually, I was getting married in 87. I got married on oh, oh, okay. the 24th, the Saturday after the crash. And my oh, father-in-law credits me with saving him a lot of money because he sold a bunch of stocks in order to pay for the wedding. Uh, the week before, before the crash. So, <laughs> God, I, I, I remember that uh, the Sunday, the 18th. I was in. Well, this I don't want to go into that. Anyway, let's let's keep moving on here to take a look at the next chart that you've got because you've got such great stuff here that I want to make. Oh, now what happened to it? What happened to it? Don't do that to me. Okay, boys and girls, stay with me. Hopefully, we'll be able. There we go. We'll get the next one up right now. Remember when you're dealing now, with theory, me, not theory, not yeah. Not oh. You know, people don't believe that, but I do. You know, I've I've been around for a long time. I knew Richard Russell quite well. So please tell us what this is all about. Yeah, you know, back in the day, Charles Dow, who, uh, you know, established uh, the Dow Jones Company, which, you know, owns the Wall Street Journal, and he was the guy who uh, created the Dow Jones Industrial Average back in 1896. Well, he came up with the theory where, you know, if the Dow Industrials, the, the companies that manufacture the goods are making a new high, then that should be supported by the Dow Transportation, the companies that transport the goods. And if, if you don't get a confirmation between these two indexes, then something could be amiss, a false signal, if you will. And uh -huh. the problem is, if you take a look, you know, we saw uh, a breakout to a new all-time high in the Dow Jones Industrial Average that is unconfirmed by the transportation. Okay, we'll be right back, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. 
Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. Please continue, Jeff. Yeah, I was just going to say that the Dow Q theory non-confirmation that's been in place really back to uh, November of 2021 uh, suggests that you've got kind of a false signal here. You just don't have the the full confirmation of the market. This is a bearish condition. I I, I agree, <laughs> but you should. <laughs> we got two bears together. It's pretty hard to find anybody bullish. <laughs> okay, now we're taking a look here at these internals. I th this is what to me is very important. The other day, Jeff, there was one advancing issue, one one new high on the day, and two hundred and six new lows. Boy, that's a sign that uh, something's seriously wrong. Yeah, last week we saw the market's breath collapse, and these are just the uh, internals for the S and P five hundred, but. 83.4% of the issues were negative on the week last week. Uh, the five-week moving average of the net advancing issues, that's turned sharply negative after putting in place a double negative divergence. That's negative 12.2% right now. That is, that is pretty um, significant. And then, of course, we look at momentum, the middle panel, and that's seen a very significant negative divergence as well, which yeah. often is a precursor to a major trend change. And, of course, we've seen – momentum plunge below the uh, the zero bound and then finally net advancing volume you know this is not a bull market condition you need to have four or five to one to sustain a bull market we're at about one to one right now on the five week moving average so uh not a good setup not a bull market setup at all yeah it uh, looks a little little to square not only that with two and a half hours to go it looks pretty pretty wild and there's the old the lone ranger himself clayton moore anyway i was a big <laughs> uh, lone ranger fan when i was a kid so uh, anyway go ahead uh, tell us about this i'm i've been bullish silver since it was uh four dollars and twenty cents actually when it's a dollar silver or do you want to talk the s p let's talk you can let's the talk p chart up now Oh, okay, let's yeah. Let's, oh my gosh, looks like we could be breaking down below. Boy, that that wouldn't be very good, would it? View on the S and P is really a, a breakdown below this gap support would take out uh, the last critical trend line, and we'd be looking for a move down to the 200-day moving average, uh, which comes in about uh, 46.68. That's right on par with the 50% retracement of the entire advance off the October 27th low. Uh, which comes in at 46.84. So that seems like a logical place for for this pullback to grab the right. support. If our count's right, we think that will just be um, intermediate wave one down of primary wave A, of cycle wave A, of super cycle wave four. We think the top is in. Uh, we do not expect to see another new high to follow. Wow. Well, it's real interesting here. We've got a lot of things happening in the market today. Now let's talk about the Lone Ranger. 
He was he was an you know he was an Ari- he was an Ari- he was an Arizona Ranger, no, not a Texas Ranger. He was an Arizona Ranger. <laughs> oh yeah, well a little too well dressed in my opinion for that uh, era. But uh, you know, with respect with respect to Silver, you know, a lot of people are like, okay, you're bearish, Jeff. Now what? What do we do? Well, remember last time I was on your show, we talked about gold. Gold's been breaking yeah. out. At, it's our top actionable trade idea for 2024. Silver's our number two idea, but it actually might outperform uh, gold. And we think that the breakout that we see in this small base pattern to the far right, which is kind of an inverted head and shoulders, appears to be part of a larger degree pa- uh, pattern, which is part of an even larger degree pattern. And the entire pattern is about a 40-year classic pattern base formation, the cup and handle variety. This chart dates back to the early 70s. And we think if we can... Uh, rally up to around $38. That's our initial target. A breakout above 38 would give us uh, a measured move to $62. Now, that's not something we're looking for, you know, in the next month or two, but maybe yeah. a year, year and a half from now, we could be trading yeah. at 62. And I don't know if you remember a guy named uh, Art Sklaru. He's a big commodity oh, absolutely. guy back in the yeah, 70s. Sure. Yeah, I knew who he was. So he wrote a book on... Um, technical analysis of commodities markets and how to project upside targets. And one of his methodologies is called the rule of seven. And if we apply the rule of seven to this particular chart, we can come up with an initial target of a hundred dollars. And I can come up with targets that are significantly greater than that using his rule of seven at different multiples. And so um, we're starting with a hundred is kind of being our long-term stretch target. But uh, I think if silver gets to a hundred, Gold's going to be well above 8000 at that point. Shut the front door and raise the rent, folks. 8000 Wow. Hey, listen, you got your monthly newsletter here. Tell the folks how they can reach you. Absolutely. So uh, our newsletter comes out on the first Saturday of every month. It's uh, published on Substack, and you can access it at Substack or at hugeinsights.substack.com. Uh, this is uh, we're in our third year of publication. It's been uh, very, very popular. Uh, we cover a lot of key macro factors and and the big picture on the markets. And if you like what we put out in the free subscription side, uh, which is about the first five pages, and you want to see a little bit more, we give a really detailed outlook uh, for the markets and our positioning. Uh, so the upgrade to paid, you can get it for as little as twelve dollars and fifty cents a month. So maybe worth taking a look at. Um, again, that's hugeinsights.substack.com. And I posted here how to reach him, and it's uh, www.jwhinvestment.com. On Twitter, it's right. at alpha slash insights. Uh, I don't, come, and Substack is huge, H, huge, H, ins, huge insights at substack.com, dot substack.com. That's right. Listen, we're going to have you on again soon, my friend. Keep up the great work, Jeff. It's it's really class stuff. I, I really enjoy it. I, I look Thanks, forward to Larry. it. Larry, I really appreciate your time today. Take care now. Thank you, sir. You betcha. Okay, folks, let's take it. we got a couple minutes here before the end of the break here. Let's uh, get up here and see what some is happening to these uh, markets here. We're still holding up okay here uh, with the S&P. And we're going to find out what these others are going to be doing here pretty soon. So we'll have to wait and see what's uh, going on here with some of these others. The uh, bean oil is still down at the area. The corn is, uh, what is, corn has moved up a half a penny from where we bought it. No big deal here. So we've got to move on. Someone's asked a question about one of our favorite stocks, which, of course, is Mr. Tesla. We still think, folks, that it's got a chance to get down there a little bit lower. Hold on one second here. As you take a look at this, there's where we are. Well, we're got. We're, wow, it's down big today. Gee whiz, I, I guess quite a few things are. Anyway, this is where the pattern tells us that there's a pretty good probability that we're going to get down to this level right here uh, in Tesla. And if you use the old Ensign tool where you draw the A, B, C, D patterns, you can see how they're they're lining up just like this coming on the way down. So there's one right here. So it looks somewhere between 137 and 116 is where you want to be watching it. This number right here, folks, is really important. We hit today. Let's just get this out here and show you. That's the 78% level. This is uh, at, this is uh, split adjusted, of course. But there's your – oh, it's got too much junk in. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. Okay.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee, so what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm unable to finish the show here today because in an emergency, I got a screwed up order and I got to get it taken care of. I'm sorry about this. I'll see you tomorrow. The uh, guest tomorrow will be Norm Winsky over and out. And I love you guys and please be safe. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com.
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insight.